Hey gang, uh, this is part two of module 7-2 in our integrated math 3 class, finding complex solutions of polynomial equations. So here where they're going to give us the solutions and we find the equations here. So, so um, uh, here we're going to be discussing the irrational roots theorem and then the, uh, the conjugate uh, roots. So uh, anyway, so here we go. So irrational roots theorem, here it is right here. So if a polynomial equation has uh, a plus b root c as a root, then it's conjugate a minus b root c would also be a root. So let's say they gave us uh, 5 minus 2 root 3 as a root, then 5 plus 2 root 3 would also be a root. So conjugates are the same binomials except one as a plus, one as a minus. Also, if we get a, a complex number a plus bi, then so is its conjugate a minus bi is also a root, okay? So let's write a polynomial equation with the given zeros. In your textbook, uh, their directions just say write a polynomial equation with least degree and leading coefficient of one uh, with the given zeros. And it, it just means write a polynomial equation. So they're going to give us the zeros right here, and we're going to find the equation that gives us these zeros. All right, so if these are zeros, then uh, x minus these numbers will be their factors. So x minus a minus 2, x minus 4, x minus 7, uh, that's where our equation comes from. So we'll change this to an x plus 2 and then multiply it all out, okay? All right, so I'm going to FOIL these guys first. So x squared, and then we get a minus 7x, a minus 4x gets us a minus, what, 11x? And then negative 4 times negative 7 is plus 28. So we'll do that first. Now we'll distribute the x through. So x times x squared is x cubed minus 11x squared plus 28x. I think that's what I did. Yeah, okay. And then I'll slide that up. Now we'll multiply the negative 2 through. So a negative 2x squared, a negative times a negative is a positive 22x. And then I think this becomes a minus 56 at the end right there. Yeah. Okay, and then we combine all like terms. So we have negative um, 11x squared, negative 2x squared gets us negative 13x squared, 28x, um, uh, and then 22x gets us uh, 50x altogether, and then minus that 56. So there's the polynomial equation. Well, it says equations. So let's make that equal to zero right here. Okay, so if it is an equation, then it has to equal zero, okay? So there's an equation, the equation has an equal sign, and we want it to equal zero. So there's our polynomial equation that gives us those roots. All right, here's number two. Okay, so it says five is a root, and so is three plus two root seven. Well, if three plus two root seven is a root, so is three minus two root seven. It's conjugate. So x minus these guys are going to be factors. So x minus this is a factor, x minus this, and x minus minus this. Okay, I'm going to have to use some bracket symbols with this, you guys. Okay, so it's x minus this whole thing and x minus this whole thing. So here it is, x minus the first uh, binomial, x minus the second binomial. Now before we can start multiplying, we've got to distribute this minus sign through. So this becomes a minus 3 minus 2 root 7. This becomes a minus 3 plus 2 root 7 with the x's on those, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, multiply this trinomial times this trinomial, okay? So here we go. All right, so, um, uh, so uh, x times x is x squared. x times minus 3 is minus 3x. And then x times 2 root 7 is 2x root 7. Got that? Okay, now I'm going to now distribute this negative 3 through. Okay, so when I do that, um, uh, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Negative 3 times 2 root 7 is negative 6 root 7. We multiply the negative 3 times 2. Okay, now let's multiply this negative 2 root 7 through. Okay, so, so we get um, uh, negative 2x root 7, and then negative times a negative is a positive 6 root 7. And then 2 root 7 times 2 root 7, it's minus, and we just multiply the outers and then the inners. Okay, so this is going to be 4. These two guys are going to be just plain old 7 right there. All right, and then... Um, 
usually, and so here's my brackets. My bracket is right there and right there. Okay, all the goofy stuff always cancels out right here. Okay, like the 2x root 7, it's positive 2x root 7. Here's a negative 2x root 7. Here's a negative 6 root 7. Here's a positive 6 root 7. Okay, so those cancel out. This is 4 times 7 right here. Okay, so those cancel out, and then the 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, so it's a minus 28 because of that minus right there. So let's clean this up. So 9 minus 28, what's that? Um, uh, a negative 19? Yeah, a negative 19. Okay, so now we got to multiply this by times this try. So we'll put the x through, and then we'll put the minus 5 through next. Okay, so there's the x going through. Okay, so x times x squared is x cubed. x times a negative 6x is negative 6x squared, and then x times that. Now we'll multiply negative 5 through, okay? So when we get, we get that right there, and then combine all the like terms. Okay, so our polynomial function, so if they want an equation, then just set it equal to 0. I'm interested in you getting, being able to get that. Okay, and whenever you have all of this goofy stuff right here, all the goofy stuff will should cancel each other out right here. The, the plus 2x root 7 and the minus 2x root 7 and the minus uh, 6 root 7 and the plus 6 root 7, that's always going to cancel out, okay? All right, so this polynomial function, if we set it equal to 0, would get us these three roots, okay? Notice it's a degree 3. There were three roots. Remember that from the last lesson? All right, so 2, 3, and 1 minus i is a root. Well, if 1 minus i is a root, so is 1 plus i. So x minus all of these guys are factors, Okay, so x minus 2, x minus 3. Notice I have brackets, x minus the 1 minus i, and then x minus the 1 plus i. Okay, we've got to put the, the negatives through the parentheses right here. So this is going to be x minus 1 plus i. This is going to be x minus 1 minus i right there. Okay, so that's what that says right there. All right, so here I foiled out this stuff here. These two guys that are easy to foil out, x times x, and then we get a minus 3x and a minus 2x gets us a minus 5x, and a negative 2 times a negative 3 is, is, is a positive 6. All right, now let's multiply these blue guys out right here, okay? So we're going to go... Um, uh, x times x, x times minus 1, and then... Um, uh, and then x times negative i. So we get x squared minus 1x, which is just minus x, minus xi. You can write ix if you want. We're going to get a positive ix soon that will cancel it out. Now let's multiply negative 1 through negative 1x, and negative times a negative is a positive 1, and then a negative times a negative is a positive 1i. Okay? All right, and then we'll multiply this i through. So here's a positive ix or xi. It'll cancel out with that. And then we get a negative 1i. We'll cancel out the positive i. And then we get, um, we get i times negative i is negative i squared. Okay, remember, i squared is negative 1. Whoops, I messed a page right there. i squared is negative 1. So this becomes plus 1 because it's minus a minus 1 right here. So this is plus 1. We got another plus 1. That's where we got plus 2. Okay, and then we have a minus x. And then we had another minus x right here, so we had a minus 2x right there. Okay, this is going to go up here in this place right here. So now we're going to multiply this try times this try right there. So let's put the x squared through, all the way through. So x squared times x, x squared times negative 2x, x squared times 2 gets us that. Now we'll put the negative 5x through. So negative 5x goes through. We get that. Notice how I'm lining them up. I'm lining up negative 5x times x squared is negative 5x cubed. I just put it right underneath here. You can write them over here if you want, but I'm just lining up the like terms. Negative 5x times negative 2x is a positive 10x squared. I put it under the 2x squared. And then negative 5x times 2 is negative 10x. Now let's multiply the 6 through. So 6x squared is going to go right underneath here. 6 times negative 2x is a negative 12x. And then finally, 6 times 2 is positive 12. So now we can just draw a line right there and add them up. So there's our polynomial function that gave us the four roots. 2, 3, 1 minus i, and 1 plus i. Okay, so fourth degree is going to give us four roots. Here we had two imaginaries. All right, let's try one with some radicals. Okay, so 2 plus 3i is a root, so is 2 minus 3i. 
4 minus 2 root 7 is a root, so it's 4 plus 2 root 7. So x minus all of those are going to be factors. So there it is right there. All right, so notice I got brackets, lots of brackets, because it's x minus the binomials. Now we got to distribute the negative sign through on each one of those. So we get to that right there. All right, I forgot what I multiplied first. Let's see. I think Oh, I multiplied these guys first. Okay, so we're going to put the x through. x times x, x times negative 2, x times 3i gets us that. Whoops, I missed a page right there. All right, now let's put the negative 2 through. So negative 2 times x, negative 2 times negative 2, negative 2 times 3i gets us that. Okay, then we'll put the negative 3i through. Negative 3i times x, negative 3i times negative 2, negative 3i times positive 3i gets us that. Remember, i squared is negative 1. So negative 9 times negative 1 becomes a, this becomes a plus 9 out here. Then I'm going to add with this plus 4, which is going to get me plus 13. Notice 3xi minus 3xi, gone. Notice negative 6i and positive 6i, gone. Okay, so it cleans up pretty nicely right there. All right, now let's multiply this guy times this guy next. Okay, we're just holding on to this because that's, that's these two guys, okay? So we're going to get this answer and then finally multiply it by this. Okay, let's put the x through this guy right here. Okay, we get that. Now we'll put the negative 4 through. So negative 4 times x is negative 4x. I'm going to put it right there. Negative 4 times negative 4 is going to be a positive 16. Whoops, I guess I didn't put it underneath, okay? And then uh, negative 4 times uh, negative 7 root 2 is a positive 28 root 2. Okay, now we'll multiply this 7 root 2 through. So 7 root 2 times x, okay? So I ran out of room right there. I should have wrote them down below each one right there anyways. So negative 7 um, uh, root 2 times negative, I'm sorry, 7 root 2 times negative 4 is a negative, a ne there's the negative, negative 28 root 2. And then positive 7 root 2 times a negative 7 root 2, we multiply 7 times 7, which is this 49. And then root 2 times root 2 is just plain old 2 right there, okay? All right, let's clean it up. Combine all the like terms, okay? So the negative 28 root 2, I'm sorry, the positive 28 root 2 and the, and the negative 28 root 2 are gone. The negative 7x root 2 and the positive 7x root 2 are gone. Okay, this becomes a minus 98 right here, so this minus 98 with this plus 16 gets us a minus 82. All right, we're not done. Now we've got to multiply this times this. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to do that on the other side right there. So there's the x going through, then put the negative 4 going through, and then put uh, the 13 going through. And I lined them up right underneath each other so we can add them all up. There's our polynomial equation that gives us that. Oh, boy, lots of fun. Okay, you guys only have four, but it's going to take up lots of paper, you guys. All right, good job. Take care.